An investigation is underway into the treatment of a 77-year-old man who died after he hit his head during an arrest. The incident happened back on April 2nd near Front Royal in Warren County. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey spoke with the man's widow about the questions she has about her husband's death. Linda Anna says this is one of her favorite photos of her late husband, Ralph. He was a Navy veteran and had worked for years in Northern Virginia as a bricklayer, but had recently begun struggling with dementia and was the subject of a silver alert last month. His death after hitting his head during a recent arrest leaves her with many questions. She spoke to us by phone from her home in Breezewood, Pennsylvania, where the couple relocated in 2010. I don't know what happened. I, I want to know what happened. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it's just a waiting game now. The Warren County Sheriff's Office has deputies began following Ralph Ennis emergency lights on in the early morning hours of April 2nd. He was going 63 miles per hour in a 55 and driving erratically. They say he wouldn't pull over. Ennis finally stopped when he pulled his pickup into this 7-Eleven just outside Front Royal and came to a stop. He followed deputies' commands to get out of the pickup, but then they say he refused to comply when they ordered him to drop his keys and put his hands behind his back. So they it advanced on him, put his hands behind his back, but then reportedly the group bumped into a trailer hitch. Ennis fell, striking his head. Ennis was taken to the local hospital for treatment of his head injury. That's when his wife got the first frightening call. At that point, the hospital discovered that Ralph had a brain bleed and they were transferring him to Winchester trauma. But Linda Ennis was in the hospital herself following surgery. Unable to visit Ralph, she got terrible news April 15th. Ralph had died. Now Virginia State Police are investigating to find out whether Warren County deputies handled the arrest properly and whether the injuries led to the 77-year-old's death. Yeah, of course I worry that he was mistreated. I mean, you hear it all the time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not down on the police. I'm all for, for the guys in blue. Um, he was older, and they could definitely tell that. The Warren County Sheriff's Office issued a detailed press release last week describing the incident. Sheriff Mark Butler declined additional comment today, citing the ongoing state police investigation. In Front Royal, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. A deputy also cut his hand during the arrest. Northern Virginia Daily was the first to report on the investigation into the arrest and the injuries that Mr. Innes suffered. His wife expects he will be laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery.